Oh, it's a brand new day. Yes, guys, we are back with some scary videos with the girlfriend. Hey. Hope you guys are ready because <laughs> these are about to get creepy. They're about to get weird. Is ghost face your favorite? Your favorite? Ew, ew, it's, ew. It's no. getting hotter under here. I'm feeling like taking it off soon. She might have to take it off in a couple videos. Like, guys, guys, maybe just two more videos and then we're gonna do a reveal. But yeah, everybody comment down below when your birthday is. Your birthday is October 20th. <laughs> yeah, right before Halloween. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. But yeah, go ahead, comment down below. Let us know. And let's go. Oh, God. Oh, ew, she's too close. Oh. Sorry, I'm in a relationship. Why are her teeth like just black? Usually there's like little like prosthetics that you can put on your mouth, but that literally looks like she sharpied them. <laughs> Why does she look like one of the members from the band Kiss? She's too happy. You can't trust anybody like that. I know what she wants. She wants to break into my house and, and, and steal my <laughs> underwear. Everybody, underwear on three. One, two, three, underwear. Play it back. What'd she say? Underwear. <laughs> I knew you didn't say underwear. <laughs> Very disappointed. These are three of the most disturbing facial reconstructions I have ever found online. This is number one. She was found on the 25th of November, 1993, just 30 feet off of a main road. At least was Vance Neck Road, which I believe is in Delaware, but what really freaks me out about this reconstruction is that it's so lifelike. Even so, no one has ever identified her. They don't even know what happened to her. Second one is a John Doe of an unknown child. Originally when he was found, he was so far decomposed they actually couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl's body they were looking at. And what kind of unnerved me about it is that nobody claimed him. There was never anybody in this area who claimed is they had like a missing a child or knew of a missing child. So where did he come They're from? And the final reconstruction like is who they, they were refer alive. to as. Maria. She was a Jane Doe found in 1952 by a hunter and she had most likely been burned alive. Clay reconstruction of her is of course not the best, but it really didn't do much good in helping anyone to find her because it's been 70 years and she is still an unknown woman. 70 years and they still couldn't find her? Dang. Somebody's not doing their job. I don't know. The reconstruction, like, it's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of creepy. It's like AI did it. But this? Why'd they make it look like an adult baby? It almost looks like that could be him at the bottom when he was younger. Ma uh, sir? What, where, where do you live? Well, don't say don't be afraid and then approach me like that. <laughs> Seriously, that's what they did um, in biblical times when the angels would show up and they're like, don't be afraid. <laughs> it's like, what the, you can't be sneaking up on me. Yeah, I know that those angels have to be scary for them to clarify, like, don't be afraid. This is a problem. If you got these things, these skin walkers just like popping up outside your kitchen window, might be time to, you know, uh, list your house for sale. Many people suffer from chlorophobia, the fear of clowns, but how oh. did clowns even become evil or something to be feared? Well, in 1849, Edgar Allan Poe made the story called Hop Frog, which featured a evil jester. 1892, we see this opera called Pagliacci, which includes this murderous clown. Joker became popular in the 1940s, but in the 1970s, this stuff skyrocketed. The infamous huh. true crime case of John Wayne Gacy came out in the late 1970s, and he was arrested in 1978 for his despicable act, and people were horrified to figure out that he was Pogo the Clown and had such close proximity to children. And then this monstrous child-eating creature that took the form of Penny Pennywise the Dancing Clown came out. Stephen King had taken a lot of inspiration from Gacy to create the story. Because of the case, it wasn't all that hard to believe now. The fear of clowns was no longer irrational. But the thing <laughs> is, without even knowing about John Wayne Gacy and his funny. crimes, many children and people <gasps> in general are naturally afraid of clowns. Clowns don't innately have sharp teeth or threatening features, so why are people still afraid regardless? One of the reasons that you might feel a sense of fear while looking at a clown is because of the makeup. The makeup the clowns have on make it look like they have a force smile at all times, so we're never really able to see their true emotions. It goes into the uncanny valley, where something seems human, looks human, but is not quite human. One Harvard Medical School psychiatrist even said that the distorted face of a clown reminds us of a decomposing body. Oh. It's even possible to take it a darker step further. If a jester didn't make a king laugh, they were often mutilated back in the Middle Ages to make it look like they were smiling all the time. The rise of the 2016 clown panic did not help this at all. 
So right now, I'm about to leave to go to the Jefferson Hotel to spend an entire night. This girl I don't know is making good points. I can't stand her. Yeah. What? What? Now, you don't anytime like her. I see her on my For You page, I'm annoyed. I'm <gasps> pissed off. I have a bad day. She was very happy and informative about clowns. She taught me things that I didn't know about clowns. And the makeup's pretty good. Like, she got a peppermint candy on her eye. That's pretty good. I think she's ugly. <gasps> as long as you don't deal with Pennywise, if Pennywise is showing up to your parties, then you're in trouble. If it's anybody else, then you're good. You think she shows up to parties? Think she does birthdays? Ooh, I hope so. I mean, like, cause it'd be, you know, she could show us how to do the makeup. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. that'd be pretty good. Oh, what the? <gasps> you left your friend? No, not a real friend. Get rid of them. Seriously, that's something I would do. Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> that's something you that do? somebody else I know would do. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, you're screwed. Oh, okay. Oh, oh there you go. Are they teaming up? Yeah, ah! okay. He's got the key and everything. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, oh, what kind of haunted house is this? Wait, that's so funny. The friend just left him and then, you know, the, 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 the scary, the scare actor is just like, it's okay, man. I got the key, got the key right here. I would love to go to a haunted house where you can make alliances. Yeah, yeah, that'd be insane. Is this your second job on I the side? I never told you what I did for a living. Scare acting. <laughs> On the sides, the side acting, hustle. Acting. If you're ever traveling alone at night and you come across a lonely woman on the side of the road, run. It could be La Segoa. According to Central American mythology, La Segoa was once a beautiful native girl who fell in love with a conquistador who was already married. After he'd had his way with her, he abandoned her, leaving her as a shell of her former self. Unable to move past this betrayal, she now travels the earth in a cursed state, seeking to exact revenge on men, and more specifically, on faithful husbands. Men? She presents herself as a beautiful woman to lonely travelers who encounter her, begging them for a ride to the nearest village or town. However, if they allow her to get close, she reveals to them her true face, a grisly, rotting horse skull. La Segoa punishes her victims in a variety of different ways. Some of them she bites, marking them as adulterers and causing them shame for the rest of their lives. Others she causes to go insane by whispering terrible secrets in their ears. And if she's feeling particularly malicious, she'll let out a blood-curdling scream, causing her victim to instantly pass away. What? Tag a friend that looks like La Segoa and oh. follow for more. <laughs> Let me tag you. <laughs> I'm tagged in the comments. If you guys can find out who she is, you can tag her. <laughs> but like under the mask, you don't look like Blessing. Images with haunting backstories. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh. Professor Popeye's ghastly invention, Radiana, a robot built with human bones. Oh. Okay, that's that's terrifying. Why would you make this? They didn't know anything back in the 1920s. All they could do was make creepy dolls that look in silent films, take away everyone's alcohol. That thing's cursed. Mm -mm. That's scary. Can't deal with it. Not today. Uh oh, the lone oh, tree. Oh, I've you know, seen this in person. Yes. She definitely cursed. The Lone Tree oh. atop Gallows Hill in Salem, Massachusetts, where people who were convicted as witches were um, <clears throat> executed during the Salem witch trials. So that tree is still standing? There's more trees around it. It's not singular anymore, but yes, it's still there. They should probably get rid of that tree, you know, because a, a lot of bad things happen on it. You should probably- Yes and no. I yeah. agree and disagree at the same time, because like a lot of bad things happen around that entire town. And That's I a good point. I think they're trying to preserve the history of it. You can't go and like play on this tree. That would be, then I would say take it down. But yeah. Can't put a swing on that tree. No, yeah, no, no, no. You can go learn about it. It's educational. Okay. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll learn about it from the safety of my own home. I'm taking him to Salem in the fall. And I'm going to Salem in the fall with the Glock, or uh, with the, uh, with the glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> to share with you the most haunted gravesite of all time. That's the grave of a woman named Charlotte M. Sitton. Apparently back in the day, this woman lost both of her children to an epidemic. Being so distraught over her loss, she took her own life to be with her children again. She ended up hanging herself by her children's old school. That's dark. But ever since her death, her soul has been restless. It hasn't been able to find peace. So to this day, she still haunts her grave site. It's believed that every Friday evening from 10 to 11.30 p.m., you can see Charlotte at her grave. A number of locals have actually seen her just walking back and forth 
back and forth by her grave. She also likes to visit her children's graves and has been seen there holding flowers and weeping over them. Are you brave enough to visit this grave site? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, do I look like I'm brave enough to visit these grave sites? This is why I don't go to cemeteries. Have you been there? I have not been there. Okay. I've not been there. I've like gone to cemeteries and ghost hunted at some of them. Why? Investigating? Yeah, yeah, uh, just like curiosity. You know what they say about curiosity. Killed the it cat! Revive the kitten? No, it didn't. Um, uh, ma'am. Ma ma ma'am. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, girl. You're starting to look really good in the mask now. Like, <laughs> she's. Oh, oh my God. That. Mm -mm. That smile. What is she so happy about? She's worse than the people in that movie. Smile. It would be so much worse if everyone was smiling like that in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a problem. I gotta go somewhere else. But if they just follow you smiling like that, I'ma beat them with the water bottle. Okay. Getting, yeah. Bye. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, we're gonna see you in the next one. Peace.